video. <clears throat> a bank is offering two and a half percent interest rate, right? So that's R. If you deposit five thousand, so that's P, our principal. How much interest will you earn? So we're looking for I, and this is one year, which is our time T. So you can do that on your question. Maybe it helps you. All right. So if we start writing this, let's just do this up. So interest that you make equals P times R times T. Well, so the interest equals P, which is five thousand times R, which is 2.5, but remember, 2.5%, we have to change it, right? So the decimal moves uno, two times, so we change it, move two times, so we put a zero here, and here's the new decimal. So it becomes zero, so it becomes 0 0.025, so the rate R is 0 0.025, and time is one year. So times one. So you can put that in your calculator. You get 5,000 times 0 0.025 times one, which is 100. You win, you win, and you earn $125. Si depositas 5,000 por un año en un banco que te paga 2.5%, ganarías 125. That's how much money you would make. To buy a car, Jessica borrowed $15,000. Pidió emprestado $15,000. So aquí está my principal. For three years, aquí está my time. Remember, it's I equals P multiplicado por R multiplicado por T. So that's P, that's T. The interest rate, R, aquí está, that's R. <clears throat> how much interest? So aquí está I, how much, cuánto interest voy a pagar? That's I over here. <laughs> so think about it. You don't have money. You borrow fifteen thousand dollars. Pero tú tienes que pagar. You have to pay. Pide prestado quince mil. Pero tú tienes que pagar un poco extra. You have to pay a little extra, right? Quién te va a prestar dinero gratis? Nobody. So that's what we're trying to calculate right now. Okay. So I. A P is 15,000. The rate is 9%. 9%, we change it. We, right? Punto. We go 1, 2. We put a 0 and a 0. So it's 0 0.09. So I'm going to change that to 0 0.09. And the time is 3 años. Tu paga todo en 3 años. So if you get $15,000 at 9% for 3 years, 0.09 times 3, you have to pay extra, tienes que pagar extra, 4,050. So, that's your interest. So, at the end, en el final, ¿cuánto pagaste tú? Well, you have to pay $15,000, no? You have to pay that back, pagar 15,000, más el extra, right, the interest. So, you end up paying $19,050. So, okay. This is the interest, and this is your total that you end up in. Just make this a little bigger. All right, here we go. Bigger. Number three. So, number three. Nancy invested 6,000 in the bond at a yearly rate of 3%. She earned 450 in interest. How long was the money invested? So she invested, that's my P, $6,000. 3% is my R, my rate. And she earned, ganó 450. So this question, she deposited 6,000. They paid her 3, 3%. She made 450. How long, cuánto tiempo, right? How long dejó el dinero? Invertido. So that's the question here, right? So, alguien depositó seis mil, el banco le pagó tres por ciento y ganó cuatrocientos cincuenta dólares. ¿Cuánto tiempo le dejó el dinero en el banco? So, I equals PRT. El I, 
¿Cuánto ganó ella? Es this. So that's 450. El P is 6,000. The rate is 3%, so 3%. We're going to change this to move it once, two times. Become 0 0.03. And time is lo que queremos. So T, I don't know. So multiply 6,000 times 0 0.3. 6,000 times 0 0.03, and you get 180. So we get 450 equals 180. T. Divide by 180. Divide by 180. And T equals. Two point five. So how much time? Cuánto tiempo dejó dinero en el banco? Two and a half years. She lost the money in the bank for two and a half years. One second, please. All right. So next, in the middle of four. Mr. Johnson borrowed 8,000, pidió un prestado 8,000 por 4 años. Él pagó 10,320. How much interest rate? ¿Cuál fue el porcentaje que eh, eh, le cobraron? So, he borrowed 8,000 for 4 years. He paid back 10,320. So, what was the interest rate that, he, that they charged? What percent did they charge him? So, here's my P. Here's my T. And then 10,320, what was he paid back? So 10,320 minus 8,000 is 2,320. This is your interest, right? So he paid, he, he, he asked for 8,000. So when he paid back, he paid, cuando pagó todo, pagó 8,000 más 2,320. So this is the interest, no? Que él pagó, right? Lo que cobraron a él. So what was the interest rate? So I equals P times R times T. The interest is 2,320. The P was 8,000. The R, I don't know. And the time was four years. So 2, 3, 2, 0. 8,000 per 4 is 32,000. R, we're going to divide by 32,000. 32,000. And R equals... 2320 divided by 32,000 is 0 0.0725, which you can multiply by 100. Okay, and then you can multiply rate. So to find the percent, we can multiply esto por 100. And if you multi multiply that by 100, you get R equals 7. Point so literally 0.0725 or multiply by 100 to get 7.25 or you just move the decimal meaning 1, 2 to the right so that becomes 7.25% el contrario, right? John's parent deposited 1,000, depositaron 1,000, so this is your principal. Um, how much money will John have in the account after 18 years? This is your time, and this is the rate, right? John parents, his padres depositaron 1,000 dólares. Cuando tenía John, cuando nació John, dejó el dinero en el banco por 18 años, ganando 3.25%. ¿Cuánto gana él después de 18 años? How much did he make after 18 years? So if you leave your money for 18 years, $1,000 for 18 years, how much money will you make? So $1,000, so I equals PRT. The rate is 3.25, so remember, vamos a cambiar esto. I'm going to move this 1, 2, become 0, 0.0, so it's going to be 0, 0.0325, so that's the rate, 0, 0.0325. And T is 18 años. Ooh, let's see how much money we're gonna John. 1,000 times 0 0.0325 times 18. 500 
and $85. So when John comes back 18 años después, he's going to have $1,000, right? Que depositaron inicialmente, plus the deposit of $1,000, plus the extra of interest. This is the interest. $585. So his account is going to have $1,585. Okay. Um, all right, so hopefully this is not that bad, not that tan malo. To buy a laptop, Elaine, para comprar una compra, Elaine, pidió emprestado dos mil. So this is your P. For three years, three years, that's your T, the tiempo. And the interest rate is five, so I'm going to put an R key here. Right? How much interest is she going to pay? So, ¿cuánto va a pagar de interés? Interest? No. Va a pagar... How much is she going to pay of interest? Meaning, she's going to pay $2,000. Va a regresar a dormir más el poquito extra, ¿no? Que tiene que pagar ella. So, I equals PRT. So, I equals $2,000. Pidió emprestado. The rate's 5. 5%. And we're going to change that to 0 0.05. And the time is 3 years. So, si tú pide emprestado $2,000. No, let us put tres años times three times 0 0.05. You have to pay extra an in interest three hundred dollars. So you're gonna pay two thousand. Regresar dos mil que pedís emprestado dos mil the two thousand that you borrow plus the interest, which is gonna be three hundred dollars. So you're gonna to have to pay back two thousand three hundred. Tienes que pagar. That's how people make money. Así, as, you know, if you're rich, si ustedes son ricos, pueden prestar dinero a las personas y cobranle a porcentaje, ¿no? And you charge them a percent. Okay, where are we? Number seven. Again, invested 4,000. Mr. TJ invested. This is the principal at a yearly rate of 2%. So that's the R. El ganó 200 dólares. So that's the I. Cuánto tiempo de dinero. So TJ puso 4,000 en un banco que gana 2%. El ganó total de 200 dólares. Cuánto tiempo de dinero en el banco. So I equals P times R times T. How much did he make? El ganó 200. So that's your here. What was your principal? 4,000 deposito. What was the rate? 2% que se transforma en 0 0.02 and T el tiempo es lo que queremos. So 200 equals and 4,000 times 0. 4,000 times 0. 0.02 equals 80. 80, right? 4,000 por 0.2 80 T. Divide 200 by 80 and you get the dividing of all those lados por 80. T equals 2.5, two years and a half. They hold in the bank. Okay. Mr. Eight. Mr. Eight. Mr. Mogi pidió emprestado $9,000, so that's your principal. For 10 years, that's your time. He paid a total, pagó, cuando regresó el dinero, pagó un total de 20 mil. So, what interest rate did he borrow the money with? So, R es lo que falta. So, I equals P times R times T. So, remember, he borrowed 9,000. He paid back 20,000. So, 20,000 minus 9,000. 11,000. So, think about this. He asked for 9,000. Right? So, he had to pay 9,000 back plus 11,000 and extra. This is your interest. Right? So, pidió emprestado 9,000, pero pagó 20,000. So, él tuvo que pagar mucho de interest. ¿no? Alguien le cobró mucho. Te doy emprestado 9,000, pero cuando tú me pagas, me pagas 20,000. Wow, that's a lot. So, the interest that he paid was 11,000. Aquí está cuánto pagó él de extra. El principal was 9,000. The rate, no sabemos. Y el T fue 10 años. 9,000 times 10 is 90,000, 90,000. R, divide both sides by 90,000. 
and this goes away. R equals, what is it? One, two, three. Zero point, and again, this is not going to be an exact number, so it's going to be zero point one twelve two two, and it, we can we're going to multiply that by a hundred, and it's going to get twelve point twenty two percent. That's how much he paid. That was a lot. Okay. Number nine, Bertha deposited one thousand dollars. Deposito me, so it says a P. In a retirement account when she was 18. Deposito dinero cuando tenía 18. How much she will have in the account 50 years after? Oh my god, después de 50 años, ¿cuánto dinero va a tener la cuenta? If the simple interest rate, and here's the interest rate, 7.5. So 7.5%, let's change that. It's going to go 1, 2. It's going to be 0 0.075. So I equals PRT. So imagina, you put $1,000 at an interest rate of 0 0.075 for 50 years. How much money ganas después de 50 años? So 1,000 times 0 0.075 times 50. You're going to make 3,750. I see after 50 years. Not bad. And then last, por último, Joshua. He emprestado mil dollars. He borrowed one thousand dollars, so that's my P, from his friend, and he paid back. He le pagó al al amigo one thousand fifteen six months. Six months is su tiempo. The rate, ¿cuál fue la porcentaje que cobró al amigo? When he paid, he paid one thousand fifty. Cuando le pagó el mil, pagó mil más cincuenta, ¿no? He paid one thousand plus a 50 que cobró el amigo. So that's your interest. So I equals PRT. The I is 50. The principal was 1,000. The R is six months. Six months is six, sorry, the R is lo que queremos saber. Por porcentaje cobró el amigo. And the time is six months. So be careful, six months is six over 12. We can put that in your calculator, right? 50 equals, and you multiply 1,000 times 6 over 12, which is 500, times R, divide by 500, divide by 500. So the interest rate, 50 divided by 500, equals 0 0.1. And if we multiply that by 100, That's uh, something wrong here, sorry. 1,000 times 500, that's okay. The interest is 50, yeah, is it? Yeah, 50. Oh yeah, so the interest rate is, and then we multiply, and don't forget, we multiply 0 0.1 times 100, and we get 10%. So the interest rate was 10%. Okay?